Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> We've done a version of this video of their sort of highest notes in K-pop. About two years ago. That's crazy how long That's we've been on long, YouTube. That's yeah. a long time. And this is a little bit more recent of a compilation. Shout out to an 80s. An 80s. An 80s. Yeah, which, you know, maybe an 18 -y. She's a, definitely a <laughs> fan of DMX. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so... She's compiled, or they have compiled a a more recent sort of a list, and I thought we'd check it out and see what Bali has to think about it. Let's go. You know, hello, have, people. Oh, hello. Welcome back. Today, I've gathered a bunch of K-pop high notes that are just so straight I said out of she, heaven. It's a Actually, voice, isn't asked it? you all on my page for some high notes that you'd like to have. Yeah! Mm. Fair play, because this Go show girl. does not mess around. I, I saturated there. Because <laughs> this show does not mess around. It does not. <laughs> With like auto tune, pitch correction. Countdown is a mess sometimes. It You're is. like, oh, actually, my God. The, sometimes the equalization is so weird. Yeah. I like Luna. This song is great. So that, that had a split. Yeah, that has a split. Although... Yes! So that was a good example of that a more guy. favorable, of a less favorable split. That guy was singing his little vein out. Yeah, I I totally believe her. She she's so good at that. Um, I was real, mate. <laughs> Shuke. Yeah. I was Shuke. Oh, this song, this song is, so, is good. so good, bro. <laughs> I need you. Stabs him, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry. With a bottle or something. That was also a split there. Dude, I fucking love that. Those type of outfits in women. <laughs> God damn, is that an attractive they look, did, dude? What they did the... eat with this styling here, yeah. I Jesus think. Christ. Sick, so hot. Damn. So hot. <laughs> oh, nice. The, this was so unnecessary in a reggaeton song. It was, it's just because it really it's K pop. It's just because Les Seraphim doing the Seraphim things. She's no joke. Ch yolk. Egg she's yolk. not. She's not egg yolk. Okay. She's no joke at all. Cause I think that was very raw. She is so good, and I've always said it in the Seraphim. She carries. Okay. Yeah, she bro. carries. She's like what the? F mm -hmm. That was really raw. So good. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't think it was even at the top of her range. I've seen this. So that stable, is mate. Hot. Yeah. That is hot. Good comp. Good Ooh. comp. Like, okay, but, let's talk about that technique. Vocal technique there was piffing clean, baby. That was so well, so well anchored. It wasn't even mixed. There was no hint of falsetto. <laughs> there was no hint of falsetto there. It was all chesty and really well grounded and clean like a clear bell, baby. Shout out, That's Ive and Eugene. Beautiful. Was it Eugene? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just eating. Yeah, she likes that rub. Yeah, that's not even a head top of her range. She chilling. Oh, this guy is so crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw him do like in seven hours of this <laughs> and that and all that other shit. And then had some of the most insane high notes. And that, for a male. That mic that, that bro's a soprano. Yeah. <laughs> we have this meme going around. You guys seen that meme of it? Uh, 
uh, and I need you more tonight. Is there and I need you more than ever? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. You know the scene where he, he they're all auditioning for Dorothy. And then there's this kid, the Wimpy Kid. You know? <laughs> and then the fucking teacher throws shades at him. He, she He's brought, like, wow, wow, what a, what a beautiful, beautiful soprano, soprano voice, voice you've got. <laughs> now, in case you don't get that joke. Sopranos are most of the time, like 98% of the time, females. Yes. And then she wants him to play the girl as well in the <laughs> fucking show. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that in theater, let's be honest. But <laughs> He's auditioning as a lad, though. You know, he, he didn't, even when, he, when she says that to him, he's like, uh, what? what? <laughs> Everyone goes like, what? what? <laughs> Anyways. And then like... he ends up being a tree. <laughs> Fair play, you know, whatever, bro. <laughs> because of nepotism. I've seen this live, I believe. Yeah, yeah no. He eats. Go, John. Yeah, yeah he eats. That's he eats well. every time. Every time. I've seen him live, I know. <laughs> yeah, every time. And he's an immensely physical signal. Can I just say, wait. Because here's one one thing it's worth highlighting. In the concerts, you have different splits for every every member every in the in the group, right? Because they do different things. They require different things from the sound engineering guys. You're not going to so, have the same split for a main vocalist than for a rapper, for example. Or the same split that you have for a main dancer that you have for, a, for, a, for the main vocalist. Because you'll just hear... <laughs> <laughs> you know? And as cool as that might be for some... Uh, that is not it's not very pleasing for everybody. The O2 arena. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So the the whole idea is that in in the in the shows in the live performances they have different levels, they have different splits, and his microphone though the whole concert <laughs> was a hundred percent on. 100%. Like th he had very like if he had like a five percent split was like much. Yeah. He was so great. He's probably one, one of the few. K-pop idols, mics and setup. That was, that was like ninety percent plus. Yeah. <laughs> Chen as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Actually, Chen didn't have a split. Oh yeah, she's also incre incredibly impressive. Oh, that's actually a really nice one. I actually like this song a lot. It had a like a reggaeton beginning. The right, there's, the turn, there's a nice split there. They've turned very theatrical lately, right? I mean, they've always been, but actually, they've always been very theatrical. But like lately, there's a lot of like uh, girl power. Yeah, <laughs> a, a, a lot of acting, <laughs> you know, uh, which is quite interesting. Queen Card was fun. Like a thorn, baby. Uh, oh. This is pretty simple. It's just stability. It's st stability. I love that song. Joke. Yeah. Also, that video is so good. <laughs> Such a good group. I fucking hate it. Gone. I know. Me too. They were really good. But I, I guess without like iZone existing, you didn't get Les Echofim. That's right. You wouldn't have gotten Ive. That's right. Is it Ive or Kepler? Kep? No. Ive. 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 Ive? Ive. Ive. Mm hmm. I think so. For my, yeah, yeah, I think it's I and Les Serafim, some of the members. Les <laughs> Serafim, right. I'm always going to say it like that. <laughs> what were you going to say? I, I was just going to say, that I just kind of feel like so bad because we caught iZone when it was literally finishing. Panorama, like when they, literally. Yeah, like on their last comeback. Yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> they were so cool. <laughs> yeah, that is stable as hell. Yeah, Bang Shang is insane. Also, bro. no joke of a singer. Mm-hmm. Also, what an OP combo. <laughs> These guys are so OP. <laughs> I, I, I low key one of the greatest things to have ever happened to K-pop, right? Like, Literally? Wait, oh my god. Oh. Easy though, easy for her. This is easy. 
I'm yeah, glad easy. though. I'm glad because they're a very choreo heavy group. And actually, from one of the people that I trust in terms of their reviewing capability, our cousin, uh, she's rated <laughs> twice their live performances very highly. Uh, we didn't Shout get out, a, we didn't get a chance to s- review them this year live because we didn't do any events this year. And they did come to London yeah. several times. And, and she, um, they did two dates, I think. And, and uh, she was there. And uh, she sort of told us all, all, all the, what do, you, what do you call it? All the coffee. Yeah, all the, all the tea. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> and um, she said to us, like... He did not the tea. The tea, yeah. <laughs> she told us all the mint tea. Freeze your eggs. <laughs> and um, oh my God. she told us that they brought a live band. So we would have been very happy in that sense. So already gaining points with us yes. literally all you need to gain points with my give me bring a, live a live band. band get a drummer get a fucking singer <laughs> i mean uh, i mean backing vocalist you're even winning more points but Ooh. you don't need to that because is there a group but bring a guitarist bring a bass player bring a keyboardist you know yeah and then just do your thing then yeah you know shout out suho he done that oh shout yeah. out freaking Sa- uh, sam kim sam did kim? that as well he only he brought did. was it simon yeah, his this friend guy Simon. Simon. <laughs> and then him on the guitar. You just and it was good. It was so good. How can you do music and not have musicians? Mm-hmm. You know? You the music do. cannot be musicking if you don't have musicians. Also, I give it... I, that's one of the things that I liked about the Blackpink concert. That band. Blackpink, another great example. Because <sighs> Blackpink doesn't have... The, in, like Blackpink doesn't have a complex repertoire. They don't have a musically complex repertoire. That's not what YG is specifically known for. That's not what Blackpink was known for. Blackpink was known for giving you bangers. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. that, 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 you know, and they're known for that. And yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're a YG fan, there's no reason why you shouldn't like Blackpink. No, but Same that Same as band? Baby Monster and all that stuff. But that band just that band? was musically complex. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That band takes it. Also, that belt is easy. Really Whoa. grounded there. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Do you know? Dude, I we, must say, Stacy always takes me by surprise. We, we always like. I don't know why we never like give him a shot. I have no idea. I, d- I don't know either. But they I don't think we've ever even checked them out once. No, <laughs> no, we've checked them out like tw- one, two, twice. I have no idea. Oh, I know, but, no, I don't and know. We much have about seen. Them their live performances and every time I, every I'm time what? I'm like wow Stacy yeah because that that song is a banger mm-hmm. not too bad <laughs> oh, that's the song this is the one I watched live yeah It's yeah. so crazy how pingy she is. Yeah, good though. Alexa, sick. Yeah, I She has a ton of bruises in her leg. She must have been she's rehearsing a, like a, a mad dancer. woman. She's a dancer. She's a dancer. No, but when I'm when I say that she's a dancer, it's not like I do choreo dancing. No, 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 look no, at no, the no. damage. <laughs> no, Damn. this girl, this girl knows the pain of losing toenails, and I am with her. Okay. Yeah, fair play. I love Alexa. I think she is the coolest thing ever. And when she had that podcast, I used to watch it all the time because I was like, "Girl, I feel you." <laughs> And look at all her awesome backup dancers. She's awesome. I love her. Shout out Alexa, she's sick. Yeah, Red Velvet, immensely impressive life. Shout out to... Like a cycle, cycle. Very yep. rough. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, god. No, guys. Uh, he, he was a joke. He was just he, ridiculous how good he was. Come on! You know what's funny? It's like, you know, people, Come when people, on. when people pass away, uh, obviously a huge tragedy, but artists, uh, people, start regarding those artists that are no longer with us like a bit more hyperbolic they're like oh my god they were the greatest thing ever blah 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 and then sometimes you then analyze some of their performances on the way back it's like well they were special for sure but I don't think they were the greatest thing ever 
But I genuinely think Jong Hyung is one of those examples. Yeah, he's he like, is. I think he genuinely might have been, if not one of the best, like top five, uh, in the whole of the the, the generations of K pop. I don't think we've had a, a male vocalist, male vocalist as talented as a singer and as talented as an artist. Yep. So heavily involved in the craft. So heavily involved in... And also he revolutionized essentially the idea of like what a male idol should have been um, with Shiny. Definitely. And Shiny has a, 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 an immense record of doing that. Like Temin also revolutionized what was required to be a, a male... A soloist. Soloist yeah. and a male dancer. Mm-hmm. Um, you And obviously you had Jong Hyun and, uh, and Onyu and Ki and... So it's like they were they're they're a really special special group, but he he's not one he's one of those examples of like people are not being hyperbolic in that Th- sense. Definitely they're, not. They're being very true to what their history showed. That's right, and the more you analyze his past performances, and uh, the more you get to understand the, the inner works of the industry and what was actually happening in terms of his I- I- involvement into everything that shiny was, it kind of like takes. The, the talent for that's awesome, he's so great and he's amazing, but everything else above that, all the all the miles after yep. that it, that really composed him as a, as a great artist, it, it's a true shame, honestly. But Let us know what you guys thought about it. This, this, this was fantastic. This yeah. compilation was a thing. Very, very nice. Let us know what you guys thought about it and the adios.